Hi there Virgo, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop here and this is your November Tarot reading. Um, if this is your first time here then I just wanted to say that um, I'll be taking one oracle card and six tarot cards to give you a message for the month ahead of November. Sorry, they were in the wrong place there and my OCD kicked in. Um, I like to work with oracles on the left. <laughs> Um, this month I'm using the, there's a new deck called the Muno, Moonology Messages Oracle by Yasmin Boland. It's a brand new deck actually, it's only been out a couple of weeks, so it's really lovely. I'm enjoying working with that. And the tarot deck I'm using is the Wiser Tarot, so I'm going to pop those to one side. And you may be able to hear that I have the remnants of um, an irritating cold actually, it's been around for quite a while, so I'm definitely well enough to give you a message from the tarot cards um as i always say if you're new here then also please check out your moon and or your rising signs you may find that there's a message there for you as opposed to your sun sign this month so right what do we have in store for virgo for the month of november right what have we got for virgo protection ring around the moon Okay, so you've got the protection card, so let's see what that's relative to. Oops. I'm going to take six cards from this deck for Virgo for the month of November. <clears throat> Sorry, is that cold? Right, okay. <clears throat> One, three, four five six pop those to one side okay okay so Virgo um right let's begin the month with there's an exchange here um this message from the tarot cards is advising you that at the beginning of the month there's going to be an exchange here where you're going to be almost standing up for yourself and making yourself heard um and it's against um i want to say another woman actually but it's almost like there's this conflict within yourself about standing up for yourself so that you can have fun because the queen of wands is a woman who um you know she's she's very active she's very into nature when I say very into nature, she's, you know, she likes to take care of business. And she's got the black cat here. It feel, This feels as if you need to be able to stand your ground in a very persuasive way because you're using the Queen of Wands energy to be able to have a little bit of fun yourself. Okay, so the beginning of the month, you're kind of looking for um, that opportunity to be able to Get out and have some fun to take care of yourself and the things you do because you've been overdoing it. Um, it does say though mid-month, I think the protection, well, I do actually, I know, I'm not here, so I pretend, I do, I do know, that the cards are advising you to take care of your finances mid-month. So I don't know if you're thinking about actually investing in anything, but it's telling you you need to don't spend, don't overspend, um, take care of your finances you can see here that this guy's thinking about it he's holding it and he's got his feet on it so it's actually the card of um, preserving your finances literally taking a hold of them and also this is the card where the queen of pentacles is you've got three three queens it's very feminine energy month um, the queen of pentacles telling you that you need to take responsibility or take care of finances so there's something that happens here mid-month. I think you want to have fun, and I understand that that's what this card is advising you to do. But you also need to protect your income. So don't go crazy overspending is probably what the cards would be saying here. Is Don't overstretch yourself. Look after your finances because you need to take care of business. Um, at the end of the month, though, so you've got this kind of like this conflict. feels as if it's a conflict thing here. At the beginning of the month because you want to go out and break free and have a bit more time in nature and you know just have a little bit more fun really to be honest it feels as if you haven't been able to do that so you need to stand up for yourself and speak your truth and as a result of that you need to also well not as a result of that but later on you also need to be careful with your finances and then the closing of the month is that you actually have an art you make a decision 
and you make a decision to think differently about something. So you have an idea, but it's it's not about the fact that you have the idea first and then you act. So you've got the two, which is acting. So you make a decision about what it is that you can do in the world. You see, he's, look, he's got the world in his hands. So you have the world in your hands and you know that you need to make a decision about what to do next. So it's a, it's a decisive end to the month. And it's because you've had clarity. So you've got a new idea about something. So the month ends with you feeling, sorry, being decisive about an idea that you've got at the end of the month. So I, don't, I would imagine it's to do with finances and about actually how do you protect your finances and actually how do you get to have more fun? So that feels as if that's the month of, um, of November for you, Virgo. Okay, thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye.